Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome to my YouTube. And welcome back to Let's Build Treasures of the Dead in UDK. And I forget completely what freaking episode we're on, but it's okay. I don't care because I'm still going to make this video anyways. What we're going to be doing today is playing around with decals. Yeah, that little bad boy right there, he's been rotated a little bit. Uh, I don't think that one has. Um, and if I go down inside this, this is one of the cool things about this engine. Um, if I go into this, it's the, the texture only works from one side. It's one-sided textures on these things. So if I go into it, I can see the textures on the walls. Um, and what I've done here is applied some decals boom just like that and that one which is not hmm maybe I've got that rotated in the wrong direction I think I do okay control Z control Z anyways that's the decals on those walls there or maybe what I was doing was moving the decals that are on the blood wall that's what I was doing I was moving the decals that are on the blood wall yes exactly cool all right so um, we're gonna put putting blood stains on these walls by using decals which is kind of cool and groovy and far out and stuff far out far out groovy and right on let's scoot that one down just a little bit we want them a little bit lower to the bottom uh, so that you know it looks like a good area where somebody would have been would have been hit let's put that one right about there and let's hold alt and drag off a copy of that bad boy and let's hit f4 and uh, change its yaw and its roll back to zero and pull it over that way and pull it up oh it's facing the wrong direction so I gotta change which one of those do I gotta change to nope that's the wrong one it's the yaw. Boom, there it is. Okay, just like that. Um, and we're going to move that over closer to that corner. Pull it down. And we're going to take this one, move it over there a little bit. We just want a nice, good splatter pattern, basically. <clears throat> okay. So to find these, um, you go into your content browser. We're just going to go ahead and select all assets and we're going to search materials and then, then type in decal and that's a biosplat decal which is like green blood which we will probably be using that for uh, our monster characters we've got some grunge mats for dirt we've got some uh, other kinds of mats we got a gook leak or a goo leak um, we have several splatter patterns and some of these splatters are actually animated we and and you know can be used for other things this is the one I've been using um, that's a fade via dissolving I believe let's go ahead and find that in content browser yeah fade via dissolving alright so we're gonna go back up to that and type in decal again decal material doink all assets decal there we go um, and then all you have to do is drag it on to whatever surface you want to use it on so let's look at that blood spout medium double click it and it's going to open it up in the content browser um, and it's or in the material editor. There's a lot of stuff in there. I don't like that one because it doesn't have the red color. Let's look at this one. And that's got a good red color to it. Uh, and I mean these decals are pretty, they get pretty in depth with the way they do their materials. So what we're going to need is we're going to need another decal or two on this wall. So let's just grab it, drag it right onto the wall. There it is. And we can pull that 
right there onto that corner. Hold Alt, drag off a copy, pull that back to that corner, hit Rotate, and rotate that around a little bit so that we don't look like we're working with the same decal. Let's pull that back in, down a tad, all right, and now we're going to grab this one and pull it onto this sand. And now we're going to hit non-uniform scale. And we're going to scale it out a little bit. And what we're doing here is just trying to make it look like it's been, um, like it's a drag mark, like it's been There, that'll work good right there. And then we're going to hold Alt, drag out a copy. We're going to rotate this 180. There we go. Minimize that. And then we're going to get into the wall where we can see the decal. There we go. And now we've got some good blood splatters. Let's go ahead and maximize this a little, or uh, scale it up a bit. Scale this one up a bit. Uniform scale that up. Drag it out a tad. Let's go get this other one. Scale it up a little bit more. There we go. And now we got some blood on the walls. Let's go over here. I don't know if that's going to make us have to do a lighting rebuild or not. Hit let's play. And it doesn't look like that's going to for Oh man, I forgot I've got that piece of kismet active. Okay, now I can move. And then when we come over here and we get to the area of the blood wall, We've got blood everywhere. We got blood on the wall. We got blood on the floor. We got blood on the blood wall. So we now know that this is a very deadly trap because there's blood all over the damn place, which I think just adds that little bit of extra realism to the game with all that extra blood. And that is a very simple and basic use of decals. So you can put blood stains on stuff. And then I will go in off camera a little bit later and finish putting in the blood stains around where we have all of our traps. I think this is a little wide though. So let's non-uniform scale that in a bit. And let's move it a little bit closer to over here here and then let's grab this one actually got to get in you got to click the little circle thingy you can't just click on the stain you got to click the circle sphere thingy to select the the decal so let's select that and hide it and select that and hide it there we go that's better and now I can grab that non-uniform scale 
skinny it up a tad bring it back this way because I've noticed that nine times out of ten when I get hit I get hit on coming out from the blood wall I don't get hit on the on the side I'm coming in on I get hit on the side I'm coming out of I get cocky and you know try to run it too quick or miss my timing and I get hit on that inside usually so I think that's where I want to put the majority of the blood stains right there that'll look good right there and with them a little bit thinner it looks a little bit more like a drag there we go that looks good yeah yeah I can live with that I can absolutely live with that that's pretty cool I like it I like that and now we can unhide the blood wall let's go give it a another try real quick and I forgot to turn that kismet off again um, that comes from what I put at the beginning of the level since this is level one you start out and it gives you instructions on how to turn but while you're turning while it's telling you how to turn you can't move you can't move until it tells you WASD to move and me and having to collect everything that I touch yeah that doesn't look bad it looks a lot better than this I mean this blood wall will still kill you but this one looks like it's killed many people before let's see what it looks like when we get hit squish and now we're laying in a pool of blood which is awesome and stuff all right and that is the basics on how to work with decals it's it's a pretty simple concept you just pick the decal you want and bring it in and a little later um, I'm, I've got a couple of test maps built for testing out stuff before I bring it into the game and just doing you know weird things here and there um, I'll go into the test map and we'll put in a few things and I'll show you how to make decals so that you can make your own custom decals and put that in the game that's really useful for doing things like signs so instead of having to make um, multiple signs so that they all have a different texture you just make one sign and leave that sign blank and then you make decals for the texts or images you want on those signs and then you can bring in the same model multiple times and then put whatever decal you want on it so that sign will say what you want it to say so anyways that's it for our decals we're just a little over 13 minutes which is a nice short one take a break from the half hour episodes please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the disabled american disabled american veterans and the wounded warriors project let's please help support our veterans if you like the video then hit the like button subscribe and share tell your friends and family to hit the like button subscribe and share please don't forget to leave me a comment they are always welcome good bad or somewhere in between thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate your time your support i love every one of you you guys are fucking awesome and until next time this is brian bad hippie jackson saying peace love clean underwear and happy gaming.